we're going to begin this topic with a map. This is a map of Asia Minor, and uh, the uh, section we're studying tonight is the geography of Paul. Now, here's Asia Minor. The, the general provinces uh, of Asia Minor are areas, and we're going to talk about the three missionary journeys of Paul because we're talking about this map. And uh, I would encourage you to write these down, or at least come back and replay this video and try to memorize these. Here they are generally. Now, Paul's first missionary journey is going to be to the southern part of Asia Minor, also known as modern-day Turkey. And so you're going to hear the words uh, Cyprus, Cyrene, uh, Crete, and, of course, uh, Antioch from Syria. Uh, the first missionary journey, they're going to basically make a loop like this, and then they're going to come, they're going to go back, and then they're going to come back. Second missionary journey, they, they do a completely different route, and the third missionary journey, a completely different route again. Several churches and cities that Paul visits and churches that Paul starts. His technique was to always go to a synagogue first and uh, declare the gospel. After that synagogue uh, rejected him, Oftentimes he was beat or shipwrecked. He then would uh, go to the Gentiles and wherever he found them praying at a river, that's where he found Lydia. Uh, wherever he found them, he would then go to them. But he always went to the Jews first, then the Gentiles. So we see here that uh, is Cilicia, Pamphylia, Lycia. This is Asia where Paul was forbidden uh, to go at one point in the first missionary journey. This is Pontus and Bithynia. Pontus is always on the south end of the Black Sea, there's Russia up here, Galatia, uh, remember the letter to the Galatians. Then, of course, here is Nicaea, here is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Constantinople, and here's Nicaea, right across this isthmus right here, the Bosphorus River, it's called. This is where the Aegean Sea meets the Black Sea. Uh, they used to put a chain across this to prevent ships from entering down this way and getting on this side of uh, Constantinople or New Rome. Anyway, uh, this is Europe on this side of the Bosphorus River. This is Europe. And today, modern-day Turkey is on both sides, Europe and Asia Minor. And, of course, they have not been permitted to go into the European Union. This is Thrace. This is Macedonia. This is where Paul saw the vision of the, of the man in Macedonia saying, come and help us. And so Paul's going to make it up this way into Europe on his uh, uh, missionary journey. So we're going to want to look at that. Here's a, a little bit deeper look at Asia Minor. Notice how Cilicia is still there, but now we see Cappadocia, which is south of Galatia, south of Pontus. Uh, Paphlagonia is up to the north here. Bithynia, Mycia, Lydia, Phrygia, uh, Pisidia, Pamphylia. And this is going to become interesting with regard to John Mark and Barnabas and Paul when they got into a dispute. Mycia. Korea, Cyprus, Crete, and of course, then we go up to Europe, Greece here, uh, Epipyrus, Macedonia, Thrace, uh, Illyricum, if that's how you pronounce it, the Ionian Sea, these are all Latin names, Roman names, Mediterranean Sea, also called the, uh, the Great Sea, we're going to uh, watch tonight and learn a little bit more about Paul's three missionary journeys. And uh, here's the 16 provinces of the Roman Empire in Asia Minor. We're just going to list them out. To the south, we've got the southern provinces, Cilicia, Pamphylia, Lycia, Korea, Pisidia, Lyco Lycodonia, Cappadocia, Lydia, Phrygia, then to the north, Mycia, Galatia, Pontus, Bithynia, Paphlagonia, then Cyprus and Crete. Recall we saw them on this particular map right here. Okay. So, Paul is going to meet a ton of uh, friends, and he's going to bring companions with him, and these names become famous. I didn't list all the names, but it would be a good exercise if you went through the book of Acts, uh, the entire book, and wrote down the names of all the cities in Asia Minor that Paul traveled to, and the names of all the people that are noted in the book of Acts. Okay, there's a bunch. So, let's just talk about these few here, which came out of the church of Antioch. Barnabas, that's how we pronounce it. Barnabas is how they would have pronounced it, son of Nabi. Nabus is Nabi, or prophet, in the Hebrew. So he's the son of a prophet, son of prophets. He's also called the son of consolation. Of course, one of the ministries of consolation of a prophet is encouragement. He's also called an apostle. He is 
a missionary. And that's what apostle means. Then there's John Mark. This is the cousin of Barnabas. He's also the nephew of Peter. Recall, Peter gets thrown into prison by Herod Antipas after he sees that it pleases the Jews. He had already put James to the sword. He wants to kill Peter. Peter gets out after intense prayer at uh, John Mark's uh, mother's house, Mary. And uh, Peter goes there and knocks on the door, and they think they've seen a ghost, and they uh, don't let him in. They're pretty astounded that Paul had been delivered by an angel. Now, Paul broke up with Barnabas over John Mark in Pamphylia, also known as Perga. The city's called Perga in the province of Pamphylia. Uh, John Mark wanted to go to Jerusalem. He left them. Paul didn't want him to leave. Uh, so at that point, Paul did not want to take him on a second missionary journey before they left from Antioch. Uh, John Mark wrote the Gospel of Mark. Obviously, he reconciled with Paul because he ministered to Paul before Paul's execution in Rome. Silas, of course, was Paul's co-missionary after Paul's dispute with Barnabas regarding John Mark before the second missionary journey. Silas was sent by the Jerusalem Council. He was sent with Judas Barsabbas to return to Antioch to deliver the Acts 15 decisions. Uh, you have to read that on your own. There were four primary decisions on the law of the Old Testament versus the law of faith, uh, the laws that the uh, Gentile church in Antioch had to keep. The Latin version of uh, Silas's name is Silvanus, and you can read about him in 2 Corinthians 1, also in 1 Timothy. He's also noted in 1 Peter chapter 5. Then there's this man, Lucius of Cyrene, and he's the founder of the Gentile church in Antioch. Then there is Simon, or Simeon, Niger, and Manaean. Now, Manaean was Herod Antipas's foster brother. Herod Antipas is the man who tried Jesus, or, or at least examined him, and then, of course, he beheaded John the Baptist. He's also the man that uh, was struck by an angel for not giving glory to God in the book of Acts. And Manaean is some sort of foster brother, we're not sure, but he gets converted to Christianity. And Simon Niger, the word Niger simply means the black man. Simon, those are Paul's companions and friends. Well, that concludes the introduction to Paul's three missionary journeys. Um, next time, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the details of each missionary journey. And we're going to uh, look at the uh, timeline, the locations, the traveling companions, and the places in the book of Acts where you can read about it for yourself. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and uh, we'll see you next time at 153greatfish.com website.